Right, guys, I decided on a plan. We're going to come down to Madafest. We're going to go to Grunfeld first. Actually, we'll come to Heinfest first. Oh, no, we went down that way, didn't we? Yeah. We're going to come to Grunfeld first because we've just been through Heinfest and there's nothing there. Then we're going to go to Madafest and we're going to buy tools in Madafest. And then once we have a significant, sufficient amount of tools, we're going to come out here and start exploring the wilds over here. Where is... what just happened? Uh, we got brigands, we got ten of them. Few marksmen and many raiders. I don't think we want to take on that fight just now. They're not attacking us. This guy's got pierced arm muscles, so he's got reduced skill. He's got a pierced hand, reduced skill. We're, we're a bit dented and battered and bruised, and we won't get anything beneficial from killing them either. Oh, he's about half dead as well. Yeah, I don't, just don't think we're going to get much for fighting them. And it will take a lot. It won't be an easy fight. But it will get us XP. Ten of them. No, that could turn out to be a very messy fight. I don't want to do that. Well, I mean, the, it's the, the risk is too high compared to the rewards. That's only nine of them. A few thugs, a few marksmen, and some raiders. That's different. That's an entirely different proposition. So there's only nine of them, not ten. A few of them are thugs, and a few of them are... marksmen. Kriegsman, get up there, boy! Frederick. I don't want this guy to throw, but I also don't want him to be on the high ground when I engage him, so... Uh, hide that side of him. You come slightly further. Oh, good, look, see there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's two more somewhere. Two, four, six, seven. Yeah, there's two more hiding up here. But th these are all super squishy. So is this guy. This guy's not particularly tough either. He doesn't have metal armor. And this guy's missing a headpiece. So if we just head him, just stonk him on the head, it'll be fine. Why do I always have this guy with this axe out? He needs to have the long axe out at the start of the fight. Ah, there we go. There's the other two. They're a bit more dangerous. He threw big. I'm surprised this guy didn't spear wall. Oh, you fucking kidding. Face Bannerman takes a crossbow bolt to the side. There we go. Now he's being a shield douche. Being an annoying douche. Uh, I would go there, but he's douching it up, so I can't. Can't go up there. I say we just come down and surround this bottom part with these lot and just try and mutilate him. Wait. You can come up and throw at this guy. Nope. couple of axes, very nice. No. He's going to go there and attack. Steps to there.
Hmm, they're still just holding their ground. That's weird. Makes all confident. Get another kill as well. Make everyone all more wavering even more. Very good. Go for this guy. He knows out of range. Oh, they're shooting at each other. Okay, we survived the crossbow bolts that round. Beautiful throws, Eugen. Beautiful throws. Chop him down. Good face shot. Oh, he wants a piece. He wants a piece, does he? No, he doesn't anymore. Fatal! Oh shit, that almost killed Wiggold! Fucking hell, that was so close. One crossbow bolt and he gets a graze, he gets a graze kidney. Was he missing some of his health originally? I think he was. That was friggin' close, man. Teach him a lesson. Blah, max to the face. Wiggled, get the fuck out of there with your graze kidney, bro. through that. That should break him. No, it didn't break him. Blimey. Alright. Get there so he can't fire again. <laughs> can't believe Wiggled almost died. That's what I mean by it could be a scrappy fight. Imagine if they'd had a couple more raiders instead of the thugs. And a couple more of the marksmen. We could have easily lost someone. That's why I didn't engage the 10. It just wasn't worth it. Plus the loot just isn't that great. Who's the other one? Oh, there's one here. I didn't see him. I've been passing all their turns. He was hidden behind my man. Hidden like a little weasel. Yeah, see, we didn't really get anything for it. We got some stuff to sell, half a stack of tools, but the risk-reward ratio was just not great for fighting these 10. It'd be a massacre on both sides, basically, and that's not worth it. The both groups know it. Both groups are staying the fuck away from each other. Okay, so we just have a spare axe now. Brilliant. A couple of levels as well. Eberil Meat Man gets attacked. Oh, the ones. The ones are so painful. Uh, definitely backstabber. Heavy tank gets defense, fatigue, and attack because he's not going to be around long enough to actually be a heavy tank. So he can probably get something that helps him immediately. Probably gifted. Yeah, gifted would be a good one for him. It's a good short term power perk. <coughs> We need to heal badly. He took a crossbow bolt to his side as well and has a pierced side now. Even with Nimble, look how much damage that did. Battle forged and Nimble as well and we still took that much damage. Fucking hell. It's because his hit points are so low and because he's fragile. And uh, on top of that, he's only wearing light armor. So the, the Battle Forge isn't doing much and the Nimble's not doing much. So he's 46%, but it's because my, my, my hit points are so low, 46% is really high. There's a really large portion of them, so yeah. 
Anyhow. Bunch of companies. Seven brigands. Many raiders. Seven raiders. I don't think we want to fight that. We just want to heal up so we can do a proper battle soon. If we keep taking all these small fights and getting injuries and wounds when we're all half injured, then we're not going to be able to do any contracts like this. We, if if I norm, I'd normally do that if we were full health. Because it could be dire wolves. Right, we've got plenty of money. Let's spend some money on healing the boys up. Shouldn't have done that. The light tank's attack doesn't matter, but still. It's good to have everyone bandaged and healed up. Or they'll be healed up by tomorrow, basically. So we're just going to camp the night, get full health, and then we're going to do this contract. Because I reckon it could be dire wolves. And that will give us dire wolf mantles, which will be really useful for fighting orcs. What are we doing? Camping. We're just camping till the midday tick. Um, yeah, orcs uh, have really bad morale, so the easiest way of beating them, actually, when you've got a low, low skill company like this, is to actually. Um, oh, I didn't heal. Why didn't this this this, this heal? We'll heal. We'll heal in one to two days, even though it was treated. Jeez, guess because it's a fresh wound, and that's gonna heal in one to three days. Oh, he needs to come off with his little kidney problems. <laughs> oh, jeez, Louise. Meat. Meat man, meat. The duelist can probably go to the back and get the long axe. And the bandages. Take that off. Henrik Meat, you can go in and you've got Chainmail, which is 110, so actually you're good. You can just go straight in for him. You keep that on, actually. And then you get an axe. And a kite shield. For when you come back. You're a brute, though, actually. We want you in the back line. Yeah, we want you hitting over the top with a long axe. Because you're... You've got reduced defense, um, but you do a shitload of damage, especially if you hit the head. So for the, for the moment, we want you in the back until you're leveled up and you've got Headhunter and Duelist. Oh, if only we could give you a flail, man. This would be such a beastly flail, dude. Oh, if only, if only. Give him a two-handed flail, yo. And headhunter. Two-handed flail with ridiculously high chance of hitting the head. Like 20 or 30% chance to hit the head. Oh, he'd be so sexy. But we can't. We have to rely on axes only. So depressing. Um, yeah, so you're, everyone else is fine though, right? So apart from this guy just missing a tiny bit of health. And you're just missing... Reduce fatigue, but you're in the back row, and that's fine. Okay, so we should be able to do this, no problem. Let's save in case it's fucking spiders and we get our ass rinsed. And hope it's dire wolves. And not too many of them as well. 600, two skull contract for 600 is... Oh, it's fucking webnecks. Webnecks in the swamp, that might be good, depending on where we have to fight them. But I think the best bet is to pull them onto a company... 19 of them is quite a lot. Okay, we're going to go down. We're going to go south. Nineteen webnecks could easily overwhelm us and kill kill a couple of people. Oh, the iron packs, you would do very nicely. No! No, come back! We need you, brothers! Fuck! They're going in the opposite direction. It's not going to work. I managed to abandon the quest and run off into the wilds. Yeah. Two, four, six, eight, one hundred and twenty. Food here is a bit expensive, but... 
Why are selling prices so shit, but food prices so high? They're neutral. What happens if we abandon the contract? They stay neutral, that's fine. Okay. So fuck them. We'll just ignore the spiders and run off into the wilds. No men here for hire. Weapon Schmidt, throwing axes, no legendaries though. Armorer. Yeah, don't really want to spend money on anything that's not legendary or famed. Especially since we have to spend a shit ton of money on food here. It's so expensive. But we're going into the wild, so it's worth picking up everything. That set us back quite a lot. It better be worth going into the wild, boys. It better be worth it. Oh, they're coming back. Oh, you fuckheads. You absolute fuckheads. You came back just as I cancelled and veered off. You annoying little shits. Oh, I think they were running away from the spiders, actually. That's probably what happened. They saw the spiders and they were like, Fuck that, we're not being used for your games. And they just fucking legged it. Oh, great. The first set of footprints we find are undead. How shit is that? Twelve... Whitey Gang is a few guys. It's not worth our fight. Not worth our trouble. We're looking for dire wolves. So we just generated a, sport, a thing of 19 monsters on the map back there and then just ran off and didn't do anything about it. That's hilarious. I want to come down this way. I think the further north we go, the closer to goblin territory we're going to get. So we want to go south. See if, I, see if we can find orc territory or bandit, bandit land. Bandit land. Ancestral remains. That'll be undead, undoubtedly. Yeah, and then garrison is probably undead. Let's come over this way. It's probably what spawned these lot. Oh, there we go. Few orc young, some orc berserkers. Six orc young, that I'd like to do. The orc berserkers are terrifying, that's the problem here. Would they easily just decapitate one of these squishy fucks? If they actually hit, which they can very easily do when we've only got a few attacks on them. Oh, they've just sent out a war party though. They've literally just sent out a war party. So that means it'll be a good treasure hoard, but not well guarded. Let's save it in case everyone gets absolutely wrecked on the first fucking camp that we try. And give it a go. But I reckon the Orc, the Orc Berserkers will just fuck us too much. Uh, finish. One second, guys. I will be right back in just a moment. Right guys, I'm back. I apologise for that. Just someone at the front door. Now, where were we? Oh yes, about to get crushed by orcs. We just finish everyone and let them come towards us.
They can charge, but I don't think their charge... Oh, uh, never mind. Oh, that's an Orc Young, yeah. I don't think an Orc Berserker's charge causes stun like an Orc Young's does. I need these axes to hit, boys. Come on. These guys aren't fucking about. They will decap you in, like, two hits. You need to be hitting your attacks. Yeah, this is just too much. We've just been swarmed by Berserkers before we can do anything. And they're they're going to get at least one or two attacks off, and those one or two attacks are just going to absolutely devastate us. Shield wall, for the love of God, shield wall. This guy here is about to get, demon is about to get cut in half. See, even shield walling one hit, and then look at that, it just gets cut in half. We can't do anything about it. I could have repositioned a bit better, like moved him up and stuff, but. Look at that fucking damage. Takes so much to break them. You are literally just blocking for dear life. Might as well make an attack as well. Of course, you hit the helmet. Bumping him back might do something. Maybe you'll get. Oh, he fucking rallied! I forgot. I forgot that no one was zoned, was only controlling him and he fucking rallied. Damon, you really need to hit those attacks. Yeah, there goes the sacrifice, and this guy's now fleeing, which means he's gonna get he's gonna get chopped in half. That was my fault, I fucked that up by moving someone out of the zone of control. Fucking hell. Rotate him out. Just kill that guy. Oh, you had to fucking kill him. Come on. I can accept the sacrifice dying, but no one else. Are you fucking fucking me? Fuck off. Oh, he doesn't have quick hands, does he? Neither do you, so you need to do that. Shit, he's gonna get a turn and he's gonna kill this guy. Oh, that was the sacrifice. Who was that? That was like the heavy tank or something. So we need to restart anyway. That was complete horseshit as well. I fucked up, but the RNG was fucking horseshit as well. Let's try that again. So we want to round it first. So who's this guy? Uh, he's a light tank, that's why he's, but he's still only like level 3 or something. So I'm trying to think of how I can actually... This guy didn't have taunt yet, so I can't really use him that effectively. There's no point shield walling with him, because he's just going to hit the other guy instead. He's just going to hit Henrik. Yeah, 
Yes, go wide. Go fuck around for a bit. Just leave us alone. Fenrir, we have to kill this guy. Fuck off. There's only 58% chance, no wonder. Okay, fair enough. See that? You shouldn't be missing. Come on, boy. Sort yourself out. Overwhelm him. Thank fuck for that. Hell, they take a lot to take down, don't they? That's a bit... Bad. Oh, until he just gets fucked in one hit. That was one hit with the orc chopper. And he's fucking dead. If we look at him, he's got 22 health. And he's bleeding for 20. We have to get him out this turn or he's dead. Fucking come on. I can't get him out. Oh, no one's going. He can wait. This guy can wait. This guy can step forward and kill him. He gets the bleed. This guy steps forward in shield walls. This guy comes up here because he's got full. You come up here because you need the damage. You come up and rotate him out. And then shield wall. Shouldn't have charged him up there. That was stupid. Henry, yeah, I shouldn't have charged Henrik up. I should have moved him to here and then moved him next round. That was really dumb. I just fucked it up for us. Plus, this guy's still bleeding. If I step to there, I can't bandage him. I'll have to move him to him. So, step one. And wait. Step to there, finish, finish, save your own life, fucking hell, we have to end it now, come on man, just bandage him, oh you can't, is he no longer bleeding, he's no longer bleeding, okay, right we've got to finish this, oh shit, he gets a turn, finish it please, Fuck for that. Like I said, we got fucking wrecked. We just survived it, but we got fucking wrecked. Just one or two hits from these things. You're out completely. You're back to full health. Brilliant. That's lucky. give you quick hands. Yeah, he only has 46 health. We need to start giving him health as well. Jeez, he's given Colossus, really. Yeah. Well, he's a duelist. Oh, that's why we're raising him as a duelist. He's going to be like the squishiest duelist in the world. <laughs> Oh man, it sucks. Well, we've got two of them. We've got Damon's our main duelist. And he's got 60 hit points, so that's not bad. 
Anyway, anyone else fucked up? I think someone else was, wasn't they? Weren't they? Yep, you're literally dying. Three hit points, two hit points, no armor on either of you. You're fine. You're missing half your armor, but should be okay. Alright. Well, that was a success. We're completely fucked up now, though. 24 tools to repair everything. We definitely found some orcs, boys. Oh, what? Why is it not choosing the sacrifice? Oh, man, we have to lose a cultist. We're not losing Wiggled Head Julius, that's for certain. We're going to lose Eberold Meat Man. Why did they not choose the sacrifice? Now sacrifice is just going to leave. Why did they not choose? Let me have a look. What level is sacrifice? Fucking hell, he's level 5 already? That's the problem with using the sacrifice. You just don't, you don't pay attention to how quickly they level up. How quickly they grow. So he's going to leave now. Shit, so we're now two men down. We have to return to... Fuck's sake. We have to return to civilization. Just as I was like, yeah, we're going out into the wilds. We're going to explore and get orcs and kill people and stuff. And it's going to be great and exciting. And we have to just go back to the fucking... Go back to town now. Uh, sorry, guys. One second. Someone's at the door again. I'll be right back. Right guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. The uh, the front door's jammed, so everyone keeps knocking on my door asking about it. I live in a block of flats, and uh, yeah, not great. So this guy's going to leave. Uh, everyone else is happy and healing apart from this guy. And the other, the guy we sacrificed was just some... Did we lose all his equipment? Or no, that's the equipment that we lost. No, it's not. Where did we have... Oh yeah, it is. This guy's armor is this one, yeah. Okay. So he's going to leave now. I didn't realize he was such a high level. So we had to accidentally sacrifice the young, the young cultist. Man, that sucks. That's really irritating. So now because of that, even with this guy who's basically a bloody mess... <laughs> We're still one man down to be going out into the wilds and exploring, really. Especially because we have such a weak, non-utility-based 
uh, regimen. We don't have whips to disarm. We don't have bill hooks and stuff like that in the back line. I mean, we do have long axes, I suppose. As many long axes as we could get. But we don't have particularly good armor because we haven't been able to dagger down people and get good armor. Um, I mean, this is the best we've got is like a 95 or 110 is like the best armor we have, which is just ridiculous. So, yeah, we're still a bit squishy to be going into the wilds with so many people fucking missing now. So we need to go back to society and look for more. Firstly, we need another sacrifice. We need to find someone who we want to convert. Because this guy's going to, now that the sacrifice has happened, you're next going to get an event for Davkul converting, one of the cultists converting them to a cultist. So we want to think about who we want to hire to replace the sacrifice, to be the new sacrifice. Luckily Light Tank didn't go. It was just a meat guy. Okay, so he wasn't very good. That's fine. Uh, who do we want to replace the sacrifice? I need to look up, really, what, who you can convert. I don't think it's everyone. I think you can only convert lowborns, and I don't can't remember what defines what classes count as a lowborn, what backgrounds you can hire count as lowborn, i.e. which ones you can convert to being a cultist. I know poachers you can. So I think we go back to civilization and look for some poachers. We've got enough money to buy a couple, and we turn one of them to get another really good thrower. We've got one thrower, two throwers. Ideally, you want like three throwers, or maybe four. Instead of these backline guys, but, you know, we, we're dealing with what we get, because we can't just hire whatever we want. So I say we go find another poacher. Poachers can be good soldiers as well. Let's head back to Madafest. That's so irritating. There, there you go. Sacrifice heavy tanks leaves the Battle Brothers. Yeah, fair enough. I didn't even read the text log. Sorry. Sorry, guys. I was so distracted by the person knocking on my front door. Looks like the undead fought the goblins here and they wiped each other out. I just saw seven there though. I think that these seven just set up a new camp. And it was undead, definitely, so we're not even going to waste time. Actually, no, I'm curious to see what a new camp looks like. So I'm just going to save it and go in and have a look. Uh, I've never seen a new camp spawn like that on the map. That was literally, we saw them go in there. There were like seven of them. And then it spawned a 21 camp. Fucking hell, okay. <laughs> Jeez Louise. So it doesn't like it's spawn it's not like they spawn a baby camp and then it grows to a higher level camp and then a higher level camp over a certain period of time. They can literally spawn in as being ridiculously high. Either that or it was already there and we didn't see it and the undead went back inside because they just had a fight with the goblins and they rejoined the camp that spawned them to begin with. That seems much more likely to it to me. Yeah. Anyway. Philosophizing Battle Brothers. We need another cultist, please. We inadvertently sacrificed our last recruit. Damn it. I'm going to sell these rations because they're just not needed. And there's 147 gold. That we can get back. The rest of the stuff we'll keep. Is it worth selling here? 212? Not really. It's not really worth selling here. So going out into the wilds was a complete bust. Because just as we got out there, we fucking murdered our cultist brother. And <laughs> I have to turn around and come back. That's so annoying. I should have anticipated that, actually. I forgot that we hadn't had one in about 25 days. The spiders are obviously roaming around here. Oh, we've got an end of nightmares, I think. Yeah, and the nightmares for twelve twenty. No, thank you. I can do small, um, small Alp battles, but there's no way in hell I'm doing big ones like that. A three skull twelve hundred is about the highest pay you can get for a common three skull contract. Eleven brigands, few marksmen and raiders. No, that's the company we saw earlier. Not interested in fighting that. Ten barbarians, ten thralls, and a few, um, a couple of reavers. 
Yeah, potentially. This guy's got reduced hit points, but we, and we're missing a man. No, I think I'll leave it. Let's just go. I just want to go get this done. Find a poacher. Find some more cultists. They'll scare him off, yeah. What's the selling prices here? Exactly the same as before. Fuck off. Nope, nothing. <clears throat> Any fame throwing axes? Nope. Nothing here. Literally just a boring town of nothingness. I'm a trader. We might get some good price for it here. Yeah, good price action here. Two hundred twenty-eight. It's not great, but it's it's better than nothing. You know what I mean? Like better than some of the other places I've been offering. Drive off brigands at Drafty Shack, east of Old Slag. East is over here, so it'll probably be in the woods. It's gonna be a tough fight, but I reckon we can do that. Let's see if we can get a poacher friend first. No. We'll come back for that. When we're, fully, when we're fully manned, we'll come back and have a go at that. We'll come back. Let's go to Weidberg and see if... And then Einstad. Einarsted! There's a hunter's cabin here, right? Oh, it's ruins. What? Something burned the hunter's cabin to a ground. Phew, we got here just in the nick of time, and unfortunately they've been raided, which means there'll be no one here. Fucking great. No one and nothing. What a surprise. Not going to buy anything, so we've got no money. Who the fuck raided them? Dicks. Rebuilding effort, fair enough. Ah, oh, poacher, there we go. 490. See, I'd get the hunter, but I don't think you can convert hunters. Hunters are highborns for some reason. It's poachers are the lowborns, so we're going to hire the poacher and see if he's any good. Nah, he's fucking trash. 57, well, he's got one star in it, 100 fatigue. Yeah, if, if any of those two stars were in melee defense, he would have actually made a fairly decent tank, like a light tank or something. But he's disloyal. He's always content with being in reserve. That's perfect. So he's, a, he's a perfect sacrifice. He can just sit in reserve and um, he'll be the guy who gets sacrificed. So now we need to find someone else to actually go in to, to battle and fight. We need a frontliner really. So let's hire a, a brawler. Could be good. I oh, know we don't really want. To. Well, he's only 150, so let's have a look. For now, it could be good. Yeah, meh. He's not really good at anything in particular. He's got two stars in initiative, but he's slow or hesitant. So he loses 10 automatically. That basically nulls the two stars there. And then it's just health and fatigue, but they're irrelevant stats if you don't have anything to go with it. He's basically. He is just kill me. Kill me. All right, we're looking for a cultist for the moment. You'll do. Oh, we don't want to give him the best armor, do we? Well, actually, yeah, everyone else is wearing chain in the front. Apart from the light tank. I think we can put the heavy tank on the flank now with the duelist. Trigdor gets. Oh, he's only just ranked 7. No, he gets um, quick hands next. Anyway, what are these contracts? No, we're not doing caravan work. What's this? Follow the tracks, that's perfect. That's a perfect way to level up a bit with who we've got. I think 
think everyone's fine, aren't they? Everyone's full health. Yep, so we'll do the follow the tracks next episode, guys. We're coming up to the hour. So I'm going to leave things off here for now. Thanks so much for hanging out. Sorry about all the interruptions. It's driving me crazy right now. Hopefully, next episode, everything will be a bit more quiet for you guys. And you can just sit back, relax, and enjoy the Battle Brothers like I do. Anyway, see you then. If not, see you in some other content I produce. I make content almost every single day. So, salve till next time.